Hello awesome viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to learn how we can convert JSON to a CSV file. What are the JSON data we have? How can we convert that to a CSV file? Without any further ado, let us start the video. Guys, as you can see here, we have two files data.js and data.js.json so now i will create a simple json so that we can convert that particular json into a csv format now let me start so i'll write a json in the array so every division i'll give a open floor bracket and close floor bracket so let me write three columns here so i'll write id i'll mention id as one comma i'll write name name of an employee id of an employee age of an employee for now we can take these three attributes i'll write a and i'll write age i'll write age as let's say 23 right 23 is the age of one of the employee so i'll write comma here so i'll copy the same thing Later, I can distinguish the, differentiate the values. So, I'll paste it here. I put enter, paste it here, put enter, paste it here. I put enter, paste it here. I can take, uh, I have taken five sets of values. So, let me write id second employee. Let me write the value of an employee, name of an employee as z. I'll take everything as caps. Let me write the age is 27. So, third id will be 3. Let me write the name as g. Age will be 28. So, there, there will be a senior employees, junior employees in the same company, senior developer, junior developer, etc. So, I want to differentiate the ids. Let, let me give id as 4. Name as h. Age as 32. I will write id 5 name as r age as 29 i'll remove the semicolon at the end so now we have got a simple json with id name and age as the common columns and we have the values here with this we will get an idea how we can project the csv into an excel so it will be a different table with it will be a table with id name age as the column now we will write a javascript file now for javascript file there is a prerequisite we have to install npm now we have to install a package called csv json fs so now i have already installed it for you guys i will start it again so if it is already installed it will add the dependent dependencies which are newly added now it's already installed so let's move on to the program so now once we have already installed we have to take that variable into our program so let us now start the program so i'll take var csv json is my variable i'll do a require so require will import that particular statement now I'll write CSV JSON. Now we already have that package. Now and and I also need another package so that I could save the CSV file somewhere in the folder. So I'll write var fs file system object. I'll write require require and I'll write fs. That's it. These are two main things, guys. So now, I'll read the file. So now, before reading this file, let us see what is there in the JSON. We have to read this JSON file. So now, JSON dot JSON dot JSON is the file. So let me read the file. So let fs dot. You can see read file method is there. So I put dot read file method. I'll put open bracket. You can see we have path and options here. Now I have to give the path. 
what I want to actually read. <clears throat> so I want to read dot slash. I want to read data j dot json. I want to read this file. Now we can have an options of an encoding. So normally we'll use UTF-8 formatting. And also if error is there, we'll also write the error. Okay, that also we can define it. Fine. We will take the error also. Error, comma. I'll write the file content as an argument here. File content here. I'll open the function. Now, here what I'll write if if we have an error, if error, if we have an error, that is what the if error means. So I want to console the error. We can easily console dot log the error so that if it is not able to read or if there is no content, the error will be thrown. Okay, we can explicitly define throw new error and I can write a bracket the message of an error. It will throw and also console log will log the error message and explicitly we are throwing a error. I will close the if statement. Now here the main conversion happens. See, I will convert JSON to CSV. Now what I will use? I will use a constant CSV data. So CSV data is nothing but the data is created from the JSON. So how we can define that? I will write CSV JSON the variable. I will put dot. So we have few methods. See 2 array 2 CSV 2 column array 2 object 2 scheme object. So I want 2 CSV. We can see an array also. Maybe in future videos we can see the other methods. For now we will put dot CSV and what we have to give. So we will give the same variable which we have here. File content and comma. We will open the bracket and we will write headers. We can take small h now for now. So headers will be the key. So now read file we have finished. Now this will do what? It will read the entire thing. Now we have to write the file. Let's say fs dot write the file. So now what I want to exactly write. Okay. So this is nothing but an employee data. Right. I want to specifically mention this like this. Let's say I want to save in the same folder where data j dot json is there. So I'll write employee data. So employee data and it should be a csv file. Fine. What what is the input? Right. See what is the data to be read data to be write. What it should write. So it should write a csv data. And now always we'll do what? We'll write an error. So error fun function will define it here. So open right close bracket. Simple thing, same thing we have to do. So if error is there, console dog talk error. If it is not able to write it to a CSV file, and I will throw the error explicitly here. And also I'll write console dot log converted successfully. Okay. So converted successfully. Fine. So now I will give a semicolon here. That's it. What are we doing here? So here. From the beginning of the program, I will explain to you. If you want the entire screenshot of the program, we can give it like this. Right? And if we want to see the terminal, we can add a new terminal, not an issue. In CSV day JSON variable, we are getting all the properties of this particular package in fs we are getting the properties of the this fs package here we are just playing with read file and write file in the read file itself we are converting the csv data to csv json dot csv this is the this is the method which we got from this of uh, this variable which is taking all the methods from this package fine now we are writing the file once we have read this we are writing the file to csv 
let us now execute it so i'm executing this node data j dot js see it is successfully converted now what is the file name employee data let us see see here you can see the employee data dot csv now see here so id name and age is a header so one two three four five a z g h r this is the age so let us see this in an excel how it looks like so this is the value which we have got so i have loaded the same sheet employee data as you can see here id name and age have become the columns one two three four five these are the names of the employees and an age of a employee so let us minimize this let us go back to the program now we have successfully converted the same program if the excel csv file has been generated from this particular json so this is a sample proof hope you would have liked the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you are a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye